Hi, and welcome to Fish Diseases, Symptoms, and Cure. I'm your host, a robot guy in a tie. And I'm here to tell you why you should subscribe to this channel. Not really. Actually, this is Dr. Johnson. It's my voice. And when I record a video from the car, I want you to have something to look at. And I'm just going to flash information up on the screen anyway, so it doesn't really matter if it's me in the inset window or not. You kind of get to hear my voice and inflection and get information from the overhead screens. So uh, this is me. I'm a fish veterinarian. And um, let me tell you what's going on with this channel. First, let me tell you, I think you should subscribe to the channel uh, because it's going to go through uh, two or three phases, and you want to be updated on each of those phases. Right now, what I'm doing is putting as much information on the channel as I can to answer the common questions I get all the time. Uh, in particular, my fish are sick, what should I do? And I've already got a couple videos on that. And then those videos touch on other things like... Um, what should I do? Well, you should treat your fish with clout. Okay, how do I treat with clout? Well, there's a video on that. So you see they kind of layer on each other. But putting up videos with basic information like that isn't going to be forever. My goal is to get most of those questions answered uh, so a person could come into the channel and get help for a specific problem that they have and then see other videos in the channel to kind of flesh it out a little bit. But then my second... Uh, objective with the channel is to pull the channel together with kind of a curriculum, really. Uh, here's why. And let me explain what a curriculum is. Um, I'll do the curriculum first. Let's just say that I did a series of videos that uh, were like chapter one, chapter two, chapter three, and each of those videos talked about uh, some basic information that you should put together to become good at fish health. So in the first video, say, I would say, well, you know, the, the essentials are knowing uh, how to take care of your fish and handling them uh, and the importance of quarantine. And then I would outlink to other channels in the other videos in the channel that flesh that out. And then you'd go back to the tutorial playlist and it the second video would say, okay, now you need to understand about water quality and water replacement and crowding. And, and then you would go out and look at the three videos that support that. So that at the end of the, and this is not done yet, like I said, this is in the second phase of this channel and the reason you need to be subscribed so that you know when I'm ready with that. Uh, the second phase of the channel is a curriculum so that you can become, quote, good at fish health. And the reason for that, uh, the development of a curriculum like this is, and I think this is very important and maybe I should have led in with it, is people come to a channel like this for specific information, how they're going to fix, um, how they're going to fix the fish with the bulgy eye. And they get that information and then they bounce out and go about their business and fix the, or not fix the fish with the bulgy eye. And then something else comes up down the road and they bounce back into the channel and they f solve that problem and figure out what ammonia is and that's why their fish are sick. And then they go on and try to have the hobby some more. And here's the problem with that is that they keep, they're learning piece by piece, but they're not getting the big picture. So they're having to make these mistakes um, one at a time. It, it'd be kind of like building a house and learning how to pour a foundation and then going back and try to make it up as you go and realizing you're not very good at framing. So then you go back over and you learn how to do framing from a YouTube video. Then you go back and trying to do the electrical and you kind of mess that up and then you go back and get a YouTube video. My point being is as far as fish health is concerned, if you took the time to go through a, a uh, fairly organized curriculum of information to become good at fish health, you wouldn't have to go through a lengthy learning curve. And so that's kind of the point of the second phase of this channel is to say, okay, come along now and let me show you what you kind of need to know to be good at fish health and not run into layers and layers of problems one at a time. Why not just 
prevent them, head them off early. Okay, so the third reason to subscribe is because my third phase of the website, uh, of the uh, channel, is going to be cases. Um, some cases are going to start getting stirred in right now, uh, but the majority of the cases are going to come in and be documented after the first three, uh, first two parts are done. So we're going to get basic information up, and we've made a big dent in that, and then we're going to organize that in kind of a curriculum so a person could start and finish with most of the basics in kind of a comprehensive way. And then the third phase is going to be um, case studies. Uh, you know, here's this fish that we took in, and this is the workup that we did, and this is how we got them better and all that. And it's going to be collaborative uh, between folks that are consulting. Uh, I have a limited number of uh, spaces to consult with people, and uh, hopefully those cases are going to be supported by video and pictures and documentation and all that. We'll get some fish well and uh, probably end up doing some surgeries, and those will all be documented in this channel. And as those cases come up on the channel, you're probably going to want to know um, when those cases appear. So that's the reason, and that's what the site's all about, and that's a good reason to subscribe. And in the meantime, I'd like to go over just a few resources before I close this video. Uh, resource number one. Um, in the description of every video, there is a list of Amazon affiliate links where if you buy a heater, I get 25 cents. Or if you buy a bottle of medication, I get 25 cents or whatever. I just Everybody does it. And those are in the description. And you'd be appreciated if you would do some shopping for things that you're going to buy anyway uh, through my Amazon affiliate links. Also, if you're having trouble finding something... Uh, like in one of my videos, I talk about nets and a good net for koi catching because the bowl nets are, are nice, the big flat round nets. What are you talking about? Where do you get that? If you go to koivet.com slash resources, that'll pop up on the screen. Koivet.com slash resources is where you'll find pictures and resources for stuff that you could buy. And like, for example, that net, you don't have to buy it there. You don't have to buy it from a preferred vendor or off Amazon. You could just go there and go, oh yeah, there's that net he was talking about. And uh, get it wherever you want. But if you're having trouble finding open cell foam from the sponge video, uh, you can get open cell foam at koivet.com slash resources. Not from me, but from the guy in Long Island that sells them. Uh, another resource uh, in this YouTube channel, you'll see the 20 steps to fish health, which if you have a sick fish, you just start with the intro move through step one, two, three, et cetera. You get the point until you get out to step 20, and you will solve the fish health problem that you're facing, whether it's bacterial, viral, parasitic, flukes, argulus. It doesn't matter. You're going to hit it. Somewhere along in the 20 steps, you're going to figure out what's going on and know how to treat it, and that's backed up by other videos. And finally, the 20 steps, if you like a written format, want to get through it a little bit faster than uh, the detail that we go into in the videos, you can go to koivet.com slash pond crisis. Uh, that'll flash up on the screen, too. Pond crisis uh, subunit of koivet.com has the 20 steps to fish health. Talks about the things to check. And honestly, even though it talks about it in a pond scale, you can use every bit of that information because all the parasites are the same, all the treatments are the same, all the water quality parameters are the same from a pond to a fish tank. So uh, that's a valuable resource as well. I think I'm forgetting something. I'm sure if I am or there's anything else you'd like to add, please put it in the comments below. Like and subscribe. I would appreciate it. Plus, you'll get notified as things get better on this uh, channel. And uh, I'll talk to you later. Thanks. Eric Johnson.